from an undisclosed location for the fact of I'm scared to tell you where I am, reveal my whereabouts as we speak right now. I got a, a lot of explaining to do as far as the podcast itself is concerned because it's been a while since I did the last one, episode 49, Turn Left on Jiggerman Ave, featuring Brendan, shout out to Brendan, of course, good friend to the show. The podcast, formerly known as Something Spectacular. And I emphasize formerly known as because it will no longer be known as, because it will cease to exist. As of this episode right now, and I'll elaborate why, episode 50 officially now of, well, something blank, hosted by me who this for the longest time. It took me a long ass time to make this shit happen. It took me a long ass time to realize right now what's so bittersweet to me to have to say to you out there watching, listening, what I've done. I've come to the realization that I'm guilty. I'm guilty of having committed a crime, not of passion, not of absurdity, something serious as far as I'm concerned. I take it serious because I did it. There's no one else to blame but me, this guy right here. I stole. I didn't mean to steal. I never intended to steal. It wasn't my intent, but I did. And I own up to it. I fess up to it. Guilty, that's me. In all ways, shapes, and forms. And the worst kind of crime I committed was, well, no legal ramifications, I believe. Unless you count creative commons and such like that. But as far as what I did, I'll admit to it because I'm a grown ass man. But with being a grown ass man comes consequences owing up to what you did. And that would be now as I display and put my emotions on display. I'm sorry, first off, that I did what I did. I stole. I lifted. I bit from something I had done previously. As far as the creative is concerned. Something spectacular is not original. Something spectacular is something I stole the name of. Not the embodiment, not the spirit of, not the whole fucking podcast format, nothing. No, but the name I stole. And I just remember where I stole it from. I stole it from an old show, an old college radio show I did with a female friend of mine who... Basically, I was trying to get in her pants. And with that being said, I did not do that, but I did sign on to do a show with her back on college radio called, oh shit, something spectacular. But I completely forgot it was named that for the longest time up until, oh shit, seven years into the podcast now. 50 episodes, seven years, give or take the same shit. But... Forgive me for having done so. I did it for the sake of trying to get with somebody. So, now as I take the approach to where I'll probably end up going to, I don't think there's jail for creators or podcasters like me guilty of having stolen unconsciously. We'll see where I go from here because I don't know to be completely fucking honest. As a grown-ass man, I can own up to my shortcomings and my guilt, Betty had said. Oh, son of a bitch! What? It's me, Austin! It was me all along, Austin! You know how they say man's best friend is dogs, or our dogs, whatever, how the fuck you say it? I like to counter that with saying man's worst enemy, the downfall of all great men, have probably been a great set of tits. Like I just explained, I was the victim of, and well, not not so much the victim of, but I was fooled, I was duped into believing. I'd have a shot or I'd I'd have a chance at getting to at least cup those things in these hands right here. But I didn't, I failed in that. And I didn't get anywhere as far as that original incarnation of something spectacular is concerned. So that blew up in my face. That went nowhere. 
I got left with nothing but blue balls and a show that I did not want to carry forth with. Fast forward some years later when I started doing the podcast, I was thinking name after name after name. And I'm talking about podcasting before it became the big thing it is now where to the point almost everybody's doing it in some way, shape or form. I chose a name without me knowing that, oh shit, I had already done it before. So to think I even overlooked that part is beyond me. And I'm still shocked and ashamed that I didn't think of it or I didn't fucking come to terms of realization that hello idiot I fucking done it already so it's like I don't know what to do until I went over that and as soon as that dawned on me it, it's funny how things kind of line up and just become what they are that happened, that realization, that woke ass moment I just had, a something spectacular, asterisk of course, I don't own up to that no more, I shouldn't, was mine but it wasn't. And I co-signed something that wasn't mine to begin with, I just joined on and did it for the sake of tits and the glory of being face deep in them fucking, like I think she had F cups. But, and then fast forward some years from there, I take up the mantle myself thinking, oh, this is original, this will work, this is fucking something that'll hit or whatever, it's clever, he he he, ha ha ha, whatever. Fuck! Then I realize it's not. I done it already. And not until 20 fucking 20, the tail end of pandemic is fucking taking over our lives and, and, and fucking shifted our whole narrative as far as how our life is even lived anymore. And then fuck, it's... It's not even mine to take care of no more. It's not even mine to fucking say like, I could be proud of it any longer or that it's mine, period. As I realize that shit, also, I'm told that I'm informed that the Mighty Healthy Podcast, the other thing I'm a part of, I co-host with alongside F.A. Jeff DeLisa is originally, if you didn't know, it was three of us, it was easy Edward Zeffern, shout out to him, Hefe, and myself. Easy decided to jump ship early on because he had other things to work on, other things he wanted to focus on as well, too, or there was a falling out between him and Hefe. So it was just me and Hefe for like a good amount of episodes, at least 20 or so, I think, I believe. He tells me now, I didn't realize or I didn't pay attention at least because, you know, he talks too much anyway. He's a fucking vegan. I'm not really going to give too much credit to him. You know, jokes, of course, but you know how vegans can get. Some of them, not all. Most, let's say. Let's leave it at that. He only gave me until the end of this current year, 2020, to try to work things out as far as Mighty Healthy is concerned. As far as real talk, though, our movie review po- uh, podcast slash web page web show I mean we do on YouTube is concerned as well too before he started working on now 2021 his book which I respect and I commend him on but I guess I just never paid attention or it's news to me either way regardless so even that's gone two shows one two in succession out of the picture completely done in the history books so now on top of all that, I'm stuck here basically at the crossroads trying to wonder what the fuck do I do with myself as far as anything's concerned. Because in that case, all I got left is motherfucking who has been watching, which I know ain't n- nobody took that name of that show. Nobody's doing that kind of show either. So I guess symbolically... Funny enough, as I'm doing right now, it's time for me to come out of hiding, out of the hole I dug myself in, creatively speaking, thinking that something spectacular was something mine that I could hold and cherish forever. I had so many goals, I had so many plans to go so far and reach far beyond with the program. I didn't want to call it just a podcast. I wanted to call it a show because it can take any sort of embodiment, video, beyond audio, et cetera, et cetera. 
but as everything dawns on me, as it all comes crashing down upon me now, I realize that no, no longer. As I emerge from my hole, I've been hiding in literally and for the sake of the episode and proverbially speaking as well too, metaphorically and all that. I come out of hiding and I come to take my time, show my face and confront the scariest of all things. This is the end. On an oddly, specifically, particularly beautiful day outside as well too, 2021, barely a couple of days into this new year, I must say goodbye forever to something spectacular. And this might be the end of anything I do in this realm, period. I'll keep on doing who has been watching. It's gaining notoriety. It's doing well. People are loving it. People are loving the format, the honesty, the brutal honesty I bring to every review, every episode I do. And I appreciate you all for watching. Remember, who has been watching on IG Live every Saturday. Times will be determined as every good movie or show leaves you the wonder and hope you'll be making it to that showtime debuts first on IG Live and then goes up on YouTube and a couple days later on your DSP of preference wherever you get your audio podcast from but right now as far as something spectacular is concerned all I got left is some past memories some past memories (laughs) that I had hoped to get my hands on and I'll admit to it you can't cancel me because I'm admitting to wanting to, alluding to wanting to hold some big glorious titties in my hand for the sake of, yeah, I'll help you do your college radio show, random pretty female with gigantic tits and no ass, and a kid that was like way too old to even make sense as far as how old she said she was versus how old she probably really was in reality, but it's all right. She looked great for her age. It's all right. It's okay. I'll admit to it. Call me a deviant. I'm not. Call me a horny boy, I guess. Call me a man. Yes, but up until I realized I stole and I was terribly unoriginal. I'm sorry and I apologize. What the hell is going on here? I said, what's going on? Hey, Pasa! <sighs> ah. As you can see, I'm at a point, I'm at a situation right now concerning the show. Everything I just brought you up to speed with, I recapped as far as where I stand goes more specifically. The podcast, formerly known as Something Spectacular Stands, it's all going to waste. It's all not even to be continued. That would be completely wrong to say. It's better yet said, better left as the podcast, formerly known as Something Spectacular. Because at this point, I don't even know whether to bring it back, if it's worthwhile bringing it back, or if I should even bother doing another one because... Well, oddly enough, this would be episode 50. A milestone. Halfway to 100, I had planned at least a couple of hundreds before I sold out eventually or got bought out, hopefully. Something along those lines. But as far as where I stand, literally, as you can see right now, I don't know where to go. I think that train was symbolic enough of where... I need to head now, and that's head the fuck out of town, because I committed a crime, like I emphasized, like I said earlier already. Uh, it's Listen, I didn't mean to do it. I didn't intend to do it. I swear to God, it was by mistake. It's like, no, I can't even elaborate. I can't even give an analogy to kind of like break it down or even better explain. I stole. 
I creatively stole. I lifted from an old idea that someone else had. I co-signed and said, fuck it, let's do it. I ran with it, and it only took me seven fucking years to realize what it was completely unoriginal. That's the second one. That's train number two. That's my cue, I think. So, if I can and if I may, I will regardless, even if I couldn't. I will say this. I didn't mean to. Please, nobody call the police, the Creative Commons or the Creator Police. I don't even think that girl exists anymore as far as uh, the realms of creators are concerned. So, there's no worries there. Better yet said, it's been a long enough run. I have to own up to the fact that I stole. I lifted from something again. I had co-signed and thought, oh, this is, this will work. This might be good enough to go with or get things rolling finally again. You know, it only took that fucking long, as I mentioned, seven years to realize, oops, on my behalf, on my part. But I don't know, man. I wish it was as simple as, I'm sorry, forget I did anything of the sorts at all. Who can I officially beg for forgiveness and plead my case? I don't think there's anything of the sorts. I just have to live up with the fact internally, as a Virgo, I'll admit my faults. And when I do admit my faults, it creates a very deep, deep internal wound to the point where I feel... Not only did I insult everyone around me, or everyone who might be affected as far as the podcast is concerned in this case, I offended and hurt myself, first and foremost. I can never look at myself the same way again if I even dared to do another episode of the podcast, formerly known as something spectacular, or, you know, asterisk, asterisk, you know, dash, dash. I, I can't even bear to say that name anymore without the formerly known as in the front. Will I give birth to something else? No, absolutely not. That's the final chapter. That's it. Episode 50. This is where I draw the line, literally. I would say proverbially in the sand, but I'm surrounded by gravel and rock. What's that old saying? What's that old metaphor, analogy, whatever? That's the stone that's in my shoe right now, and I'm forced to walk miles upon miles now because I can't even go home. I can't. Who am I going to go home to? What am I going to go home to? A fucking bum like me? An uncreative bum like me? A thief? A creative fucking idea thief? You hear that? That's the third one. That's going the other way now. And I'm making it crystal clear. Despite the fact as beautiful as this day is outside, right after the new year, 2021 already, new beginnings, new horizons, as they say, I don't know. It's just, it's bittersweet to have to confront and have to deal with right now. I mean, listen, Mighty Healthy Podcast is done. It's dead. It's in the dirt. It might as well be out here in the gravel amongst these fucking rocks and train tracks. Know where to go from here, of course. Nothing but love and respect to Jeff DeLisa's Hefe, as he referred to himself as most commonly. Doing his thing with the book, doing his thing with his own website and all that too. There's no harm, or at least no malice on my behalf towards him. I wish him the best, honestly, but Mighty Healthy is dead. And it's sad to see it die the way it did. I think we barely made it to 30 something episodes and we could have gone on a lot longer, but. Schedules conflict in he decided to go with what he feels is his calling as he put it so I can't be the guy to get in the way of that. I wouldn't dare be that guy. So fuck it. It's all right I would carry the mantle proudly with again that podcast I used to do which I will no longer name at this point onwards because It's a crime against creativity and humane Well humanity, excuse me. I'm like a fucking animal at this point now. I don't even know what to do with myself, but yeah real talk though is over because again he's doing his thing on his own which I have to respect as a grown man as adults as we are 
So that's that. That's it. I am making the bold decision, taking upon myself as a grown ass man, as you can see here. I'm next to these train tracks. That's it. I'm leaving town. I'm getting out of here. You won't be seeing me around these parts ever again. I'm hitching a ride on the first thing, smoking, moving, wherever, whatever's going out of fucking Queens. My stopping grounds, my breeding grounds, where I planned and hoped to lay my seed eventually and continue the legacy of who this junior, well, not junior, I wouldn't dare do that. I'm a junior. It's embarrassing enough. My mother was fucking lazy to, you know, take the easy route and just name me a junior instead of being creative and give me a fucking name. Well, then again, I can't even blame her because look at what I did. I stole the fucking name for something I did in the past and tried to pass it off as my own. And oh shit, it's not even mine to fucking take charge of or take ownership of. Fuck. God damn it. All over some titties and a pretty face and I got fooled and duped in the fucking... Who knows how long it's been since that show ever existed originally in its original initial form. Then I took it over thinking, oh shit, this is dandy, this is fine, I'm gonna make something of it, and then fuck seven years along the path. It's only as long as it took me to figure out, fuck, I stole. And I caught myself at least, but it's worse than someone having caught me in the act of doing so, because now at least I can own up to it, but now I gotta live with this shit forever. And as long as I'm gonna live, I can rest assured that something spectacular will not. The podcast is dead. The podcast is gone. I'm getting the fuck out of here. And right about now, all I'm doing literally is waiting for my cue to hop on the next train, whichever fucking way it's going. That's it. I'm out of here. Done. Gone. As the sun shines bright and beautifully here, out here of all places, Queens, New York, Regal Park, it gets specific to let it be known. And as it's being told to you right now, the very last episode, episode 50, bittersweet enough. Look at the sun shining on me. I would normally like to own up to looking glorious, commend myself on the sun shining bright right behind me. Hopefully it's not glaring the fuck out of your eyes right now. But that's it and that's that. Who this is, one on Instagram, everywhere else too, as far as social media is concerned, where you can find me, and hopefully, if you choose to, join me on the rest of my journey as I try to rediscover myself. I still got who this been watching. I'll take care of that and hold that close to heart. I know that ain't been done by nobody else at this point, so there's no crime in me continuing to do that with the movies, with the TV. Now that I only got my phone and hopefully a charger, a portable one that works and I can keep using till God knows when, I'll be able to keep doing it. Hopefully you'll support me along the path, along the way. I just had three trains pass me now and now there's not one in sight that's going either direction that I can even think of. This is not good. I was hoping for a proper cue to actually be like, deuces, I'm out. But right now it looks like I'm going to be forced to wait. Uh, yeah, there's nothing coming at all. Fuck. So, I'm not going to hold you any longer. Viewer, listener, whoever you are, I thank you for making it to this point in my life, in the life of the formerly known as Something Spectacular Podcast, episode 50. This is it. The 50th time I'm doing it, this is the last absolute time this podcast will be done again. Stay tuned. Keep watching who this been watching. I'll keep doing that proudly. Otherwise, something spectacular is dead and gone officially. Thank you, otherwise. Keep supporting the YouTube. I guess those episodes will be up there. I guess for archive purposes. Otherwise, it's been real. I thank you sincerely. I'm out. That's the bad news. You want the good news? So listen, not just quite yet, not at this very moment. Well, I hopped on the train and well, they found me, so I got a, I got the boots. So I'm right here next to the highway, if anything. I'm going to try my luck to get and see who the fuck I can try to pitch a ride from, if anything. 
Because guess what? I'm a grown boy. At the same time, too, I also had to feed myself, more importantly, my lats, my quads, my chest, my traps, and my biceps. As you could hopefully kind of see through the hoodie, but still, I got to keep warm for the time being. It's still the season. Or unless someone knows how to hotwire an 18-wheeler, I'm trying to see how that works. But I do want to say, while I liberate myself, per se, of any further responsibilities associated with something spectacular, or, excuse me, Blank Blank, the podcast formerly known as whatever that name was, I can't say it no more, obviously, as I mentioned already and stressed enough. Liberating oneself comes at a price. And the price I'm paying now is in GP, courtesy of shoutouts to and much love to a past guest to the show of, again, podcast formerly known as, no longer to be referred as something spectacular, Dr. Mike on the drums. And that's a doctor with an MD at the end, so it's like double time, but still, I guess he would know as a drummer what double time means. So shoutouts to him, Dr. Mike, his group. Above the Empty, you can catch them on Instagram at Above the Empty. They got a new fucking single and video just dropped New Year's 2021 called Liberate. Now, I don't know why, for whatever reason, I might have just flipped the channel off of Telemundo. I might just had some uh, adobo, heavy ass chicken or something, but I read it at first as Liberate. In Spanish, I think same thing literally is just Liberate. But it's Liberate from above the empty the group consisting of dr mike at mikey ate official m-i-k-e-a-t-e official and then the other dude i I don't know your name bro i'm so sorry but forgive me in advance for not knowing your name Uh, i'm in the middle of uh you know running away from my adulthood responsibilities associated with my failed podcast now that i stole from so forgive me forgive me forgive me forgive me all that i forgot about details concerning its singles but yeah this is again above the empty liberate brand new shit coming from them soon enough you know maybe i'll be able to get some updates on the road as i try to run away to someplace somewhere i could try to liberate myself to and hopefully one day i'll be able to show my face around here again in queens more specifically my old stopping grounds and i don't know maybe make a living because then living on the road as a bum as I'm gonna be from now on. I'm gonna be a baby face bum. I can't grow shit on my face. The Asian genetics might have taken over that heavy even though I'm 35 now. Maybe by the time I'm 50, I might be able to get that beard. I've been due for like some Christmases now. Santa, you fat red sack fuck. All right, but check this out, enjoy it. And I don't know, as a baby face bum, let's see if I succeed.
Yo, it's over. All right, it's over. It's over. Move the mic. Move the mic. Thank you.